Welcome to Gapology Radio with your hosts, Mark Tinas and Brian Brockhoff. This is your podcast covering tactics for creating winning leadership and sustainable winning organizations. Discover more information detailed in their books, Gapology, Imbar, and their newest release, Speed of Purpose. We can be reached at gapology.org and our books can be found at amazon.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Gapology Radio. I have another inspirational thought for you this week. I met with a leader recently and we were talking about how sometimes, you know, just telling people what to do or sending out an email just doesn't create results. We got into the discussion on how to set clear expectations and, and you know, it sparked some thoughts on how we can bring them to life beyond the simple delivery of the message. Here's a blog I wrote called Bring Expectations to Life. We have spoken a lot about the importance of setting clear expectations. As you have heard, this is one of the most important primary functions of a winning leader, establishing in very clear terms what behaviors you expect from the team you lead and what specific results you expect delivered lays the foundation for everything your organization is trying to achieve. It allows for consistent follow-up, genuine recognition, and a culture of real accountability. Without clear expectations, chaos, confusion, and anxiety will prevail and thus deliver inconsistent results at best and poor results at worst. But setting the expectations up front is only one small piece of the puzzle. What you do with them is what matters most. Once the behavioral and result components of the expectations are set, you must put them into action. As a leader, that action includes daily, weekly, and even monthly behaviors that create your leadership rhythm and ultimately a cadence that your team can count on. Wrapping your expectations into everything you say and do brings them to life, making them much more than words on a sheet of paper. Here are five simple things you can do to wrap them into all elements of your business. First, deliver the expectations in a simple, clear, and accessible message. Don't mince words. You can deliver them in a supportive, friendly manner, but ensure that there is no mistake about the behaviors and results that you expect. For example, you could say, My expectations are that each team member does X to deliver Y, and these are important to our purpose because they do Z. This is a very clear example that gives the expected behavior, the expected result, and also offers a tie-in to its importance. Secondly, ensure that your training programs are built around these expectations. There should be quality instructions, coaching, and dedicated practice time developed around them. Remember to close all knowledge gaps on the expectations. Everyone must know what to do and how to do them. Third, develop and share a regular scorecard around the performance results of the expectations. Rank your team if possible, highlighting the top, middle, and bottom performers accordingly. People want to know where they stand. A scorecard is a good way to do this, and it drives personal accountability. Celebrate the top performers on your calls and your emails. Recognize their performance and have them share their top two to three tips with the rest of the group. If possible, develop and leverage those who consistently perform at the top to help train and motivate the middle group of performers. This process will free up some of your time and provide additional help to move the bottom performers up or even out of the organization if needed. Fourth, develop a regular communication method to update the team on performance results around expectations. If you have a regular weekly conference call or meeting, use the expectations as the outline for the session. If you communicate via email, do the same thing. Whatever method of communication you use, these expectations should be the most important things communicated. So provide feedback on the progress regularly. And fifth, be consistent. Repetition and consistency will develop the culture you want. They will also establish trust in your leadership. Your team will see this as professional, supportive, and directive behaviors, and will develop a strong belief in your objectives. In essence, be very strategic about establishing a culture of expectations, feedback, and consistency. Through all of this, you will build a strong leadership rhythm that your team can count on, believe in, and follow. Everyone have a fantastic week. We'll talk to you soon. This has been a Gapology production. Visit us at gapology.org.